Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we had a, uh, uh, we've been uh, studying the, uh, the book of uh, Acts, the Apostles. Um, you know, we've, we've been uh, looking into that and uh, see the, uh, the, uh, the things uh, that we can learn. Uh, you know, the, uh, the started of the, uh, the early church, uh, the one true church, uh, the spirit-filled church, okay, and uh, how uh, they move with, uh, uh, you know, with the Holy Ghost. Um, and we all believe, we all know, we all understand uh, when we look into the book of Acts, it's uh, full of uh, the opposition as well. You know, uh, when they move, uh, um, uh, when they proclaiming the word, when, they, uh, uh, when the church grew, uh, it grows together with uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the disbelief. It grows together with the opposition from uh, uh, the, uh, the religious uh, people or the religious group, as we all know. Uh, we're just going to look into the uh, 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 um, a brother in the Lord now. Um, uh, we're just going to look into Acts chapter 6 and 7. And uh, yeah, it's a well-known one for us now. Uh, it's uh, our brother Stephen. Okay. Um, Yes, we all uh, we all know, we all understand uh, the story about uh, this uh, brother here. Um, uh, we all know uh, the, the the started off uh, uh, the story. We all know how the story ended. Uh, within the story, uh, it was a remarkable. Uh, uh, um, The remarkable, uh, uh, you know, the miracle, uh, the, 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 the demonstration of the faith that he had. Um, the demonstration of the confidence that he had um, uh, through the Holy Spirit. Um, yes, we're just going to uh, read a few scriptures here. Uh, what we can, uh, you know, try to, uh, like I said, uh, we know the story very well, but we're just going to see you know, the, the, the reflection of this story of what we can uh, again learn and get reminded again, uh, as we always do, okay? Uh, we live, in a, we live in, a, in a time where we need encouragement, where we need, where we get, uh, where we need it to get reminded again and again and again. Uh, it's our daily life, uh, you know, to get reminded with the things of the Lord um, because he loved us because he wants us not to, uh, uh, to fall away. He didn't want anyone to die, okay? The Bible talks about that, you know, uh, um, as we all know. We're just gonna start reading from, uh, we're not gonna read the whole story. Uh, like I said, we know the story. We're just gonna pick uh, things that we, uh, uh, tonight that we can, uh, can, can learn of, yeah? Um, Yeah, uh, in your own time, you can read the story again. Eh? Uh, I'm just going to pick, uh, start picking from, um, from verse 3. From verse 3, it says, uh, Wherefore, brethren, look ye among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over uh, this business. Uh, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer, and to the ministry of the word, and the saving, um, and the say, saying, place the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith, and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and uh, Prochorus, and uh, Nicanor, and Timon, and uh, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Um, yes, we're just going to stop there for a little while. Uh, we see there the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, we, we know the story start from the beginning of the chapter. Uh, you know, the, the, there's a little uh, arguments are going on. Um, uh, and we see in verse three, you know, uh, um, we all know this is the, bit, you know, the Jews, they were, you know, the, the native Jews and the Jews who born uh, outside the Holy Land, you know, the, uh, 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 
of the Grecian Jews. So they, they, there was a little bit of argument there, uh, you know, about the, uh, uh, the caring of the widow, okay? So uh, we, we see there that, uh, you know, the, the thing that we can learn there is praise the Lord, you know, the things that they saw and they bring it up and praise the Lord that the native Jew, they do really, uh, you know, understand those things, you know. Uh, we see the, uh, the start of the chapter there is we saw the devil straight away, you know, with that incident that happened that tried to divide the, you know, the church, tried to divide uh, the body of Christ there. Uh, but we know that you know, when we read down, the, when we read carries on down, we saw that the devil, the devil failed. Okay. Um, but praise the Lord, you know, then, uh, you know, and they uh, tried to, you know, the, uh, as we know, you know, at that time is when it's mentioned the table, this is about the, uh, you know, the, the uh, talks about the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 you know, the charging of the money or, you know, the money that, you know, to look after the widows, uh, you know, the table. So we see here, uh, you know, the, uh, in verse three, you know, to look for seven men who are spiritually minded, and not only that, a seven men that also practically minded. Okay. So praise the Lord that they were all happy with the decision making. They were all happy with those who were chosen and praise the Lord. They all agreed together and they were all happy. Okay. When they were all agreed together with the, you know, with, with, with the decision making there. Um, yes, if we look into the, um, you know, the Grecian Jews or the Jews that born outside the Holy Land, uh, you know, when we look into what they, you know, what they, uh, that they brought out, you know, it's a cause of an argument. It just looks, you know, they, they, they were doing the right thing, you know, put it that way, you know. Um, they made the need known. There are something need to be uh, 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 known there. They made it known. Um, yes, praise the Lord. The native, they recognize the need. Okay. Praise the Lord, the native Jews, they recognize the need. And praise the Lord, when the seven men chosen, they accepted the call. Okay? They accepted the call. And praise the Lord as well, you know, the 12 apostles, they do respond to that. You see here the work together within you know, within the church on how they agree together to promote the good things that pleases the Lord. Okay? But when we carry on reading down, it says in, um, uh, in verse 7, and the word of God increased and the number of the disciples multiplied. See the outcome of the church agreed together there's no differences between them, even though the devil trying to start it off with to divide the church, but it came down there that the devil failed. Yeah? So praise the Lord. Uh, you know, the Lord blesses that with the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem. Yes, praise the Lord. That's what we, uh, we, we saw in the world today. The more we, you know, the, uh, uh, we, we step out in faith to promote the gospel, we see the opposition as well. We came across the different thoughts of or opinions of men tries to stop the promoting of the gospel, tries to stop us from serving the Lord, tries to, uh, to, uh, to, to come into the church to divide, you know, the, the, the body of Christ. We see there they were all agreed, they were all happy with what the Holy Ghost being revealed to them there. Uh, yes, we're just going to move on. In verse 10, I'm just going to read the verse 10. Um, and they were not able to resist the wisdom, 
and the spirit by which he spake. In verse, uh, in verse eight, it says, it says, and seven full of faith and power did great wonders and miracles among the people. Okay, uh, Stephen, he was a Jew born outside, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Holy Land. So he, he, he was uh, one of the, uh, the, the Christian Jews. So, but praise the Lord, okay, that he sees things, he didn't bring the differences. Praise the Lord that he really into, you know, the, the, the covenant as, uh, as, uh, as, as what he stand uh, uh, up for, as what we see there. In verse 10, it says, uh, um, in verse 9, and there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the uh, Libertines, uh, Libertines and Syrians, uh, Alexandrians, and of them Cilicia and Asia, disputing with, uh, with, uh, with, St with Stephen. Uh, these are the people, these are the Jews, okay, uh, the free Jews, this is the Jews, they were on slave, you know, uh, you know, we, we know the place very well there. Um, they, they came and argued the fact of why Stephen promoting the new covenant, why Stephen promoting Jesus Christ. We see there that um, in verse 10, they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Brother Stephen didn't even fear the way they look. Okay. It must be a lot of people there, must be a lot of them there. And he just stood up bold enough to, uh, to speak out, you know, to make it clear to these people the difference between the law and the new covenant, the, the difference between uh, the, 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 the letters written on stone and the, the letters written in our heart. Okay. Um, yes, we see there, there is no indication uh, about that Stephen, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's a well-educated guy. Okay. There's no indication that uh, he's, uh, he's, 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 uh, he's very smart in, in, in talking. There's no indication that he was a, 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 a better debater, you know, that's what we see in the world. Eh? We all experience these things. There are people who out there who are very, very good in de trying to debate, uh, you know, the word of God. It's only through the Holy Spirit. It's, he rely on to the Holy Spirit to do the work for him. Okay? That's, that's, that's what we see there. Um, it is the Holy Spirit. Not because he's very good in that, not because he's very good, because the Bible doesn't say those things uh, about this brother here. But he makes the stand. He knows he has the authority. He knows he has the power to proclaim, you know, the, the, the new covenant or the covenant that God made uh, through his son, Jesus Christ. Um, um, in verse 11, and then they suburb, uh, then they suburb a man which said, uh, we have heard him speak uh, uh, words against Moses and against God. When we look back into that, um, Stephen, when, you know, we're just going to jump into chapter 7 as well. He didn't even speak against Moses or the law. Okay? What he was trying to do there, he was trying to make it clear, you know, for these people to understand, you know, the Jewish people to understand. Sorry, guys. That's the old way. That's the, 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 that's the, that's the law. Jesus Christ came and bring you know, the new law, the new covenant. We must abide on that. We must stand on that. But they really didn't like it. Okay? They didn't, didn't, didn't like it. We all experience that as well today when we speak to religious people. Okay? They said they believe in God. They said they do this. They keep the law. Okay? But they don't want to speak in tongues, but they don't, but they're rejecting baptism, but they're rejecting receiving the Holy Spirit, speaking in other tongues. Um, in verse 14, it says, uh, um, 
sorry, in verse 12, and they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council uh, and set up false witnesses uh, which said, this man ceases not to speak blasphemous word against his holy place and the law. Um, the same thing happened to Jesus Christ. Okay? They tried every angle to accuse the son of God and they, and they couldn't find any. Even to brother Paul, okay, when he was preaching the gospel, make known to the people about the, uh, about the blood of the lamb, okay, and they tried to find a way to, you know, to, to, to put fingers on him. And what happened again, to, uh, the same thing happened to, uh, uh, to our brother here. And that's something that we really need to look, uh, you know, uh, uh, the world is keeping an eye on us like that. Where we work, the way we speak, the way we behave, okay? But Brother Stephen here, he led by the Holy Spirit. He stirred up. He always listened to the Holy Spirit. And this is where the world is trying to catch us out. You know, they will try, to, you know, every ways to point fingers. And we do experience this, okay? Um, at work, you know, false accu accusation from people. They try to take you out. They try to get you out from, uh, from, uh, from your faith. From, uh, from the God that you uh, that, that we believe, so this, those are the things uh, uh, I know. We're getting reminded again uh, uh, that we need to be uh, careful and be a good watchman to watch those things. Is to keep the testimony of Jesus Christ. Um, yes, Stephen, make it clear. That Jesus Christ is greater than Moses. He didn't speak against Moses, he just want to make it clear that Jesus Christ is greater than Moses. Um, he is greater than the temple and he was the fulfillment of the law. Okay? We all know these things, we all know and understand these things. Okay? Praise the Lord and we do the same thing as well as what our brother said there. Okay? When we come across uh, uh, religious people, we try to make it clear the difference between that and that. But we're going to make, you know, always make the stand and never let that go away, never let that uh, slip away. And we started to believe what they say about, you know, the law. Um, We see there the people twisted the words, okay? They twisted the words. They said that uh, uh, Stephen speak against Moses, speak against uh, the, uh, the holy, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the holy place or the temple, or speak against God. We see, you know, the, 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 how the devil works. Um, uh, that's why, uh, you know, like I said before, you know, people, look keep an eye on every single word that we always say every step that we make every action that we make they are like that you know they are like that on us praise the lord you know that we have the holy spirit to stir up and let god uh, you know always lead the way for us um Brother Stephen demonstrated the boldness he had through the Holy Spirit. He demonstrated the faith that he had. He demonstrated he had the true authority. He had the right to speak out those words. He demonstrated. He demonstrated a true believer. Okay? The God that He served, He demonstrated. You know, like I said, goes back to the to the to, to the uh, uh, the chosen of the seven men. Okay, they were spiritually minded and practically minded as well. Okay, so the faith with action is there. 
the faith is action with action is there. Um, just gonna uh, read uh, verse uh, 15. It says, uh, uh, and all that he said in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Okay? His face reflected. He had the true peace of God. Okay? His face reflected the God that he served. His face reflected he is unmovable. His face reflected there is no sign of fear. There is no sign of terror. There is no sign of doubt. Okay? Praise the Lord. The demonstration of those things that the Bible says that his face is like, you know, uh, an angel. It tells us as well on how close Stephen and his God or, uh, and our God, you know. It reminds us back, you know, when uh, Moses came back receiving the, uh, the, the law. And uh, the Bible says that he, you know, because he's the one that, you know, he's, you know, the one that get closer to God. Um, he came back and the face was shine or shown, okay? Because of the, he was close to God. Praise the Lord. You know, the, uh, the testimonies that shine there, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the, that he made us stand there. Um, and something that we can learn there as well is, he 100% believed he knew his life was in the Lord. Okay? He knew and he believed his life is in the Lord. Um, yes, we're just going to jump into uh, chapter 7. Just to, um, um, We're not going to read the whole story. Uh, I'm just going to bring it out here. Uh, you know, the carry-on of uh, the, uh, the, the accusation um, uh, to our brother here, Stephen. Um, Yes, like I said, in on time, you can read the whole story again. Um, what we can learn in verse 7, in, in chapter 7, you know, this is not a defense, okay? He's not defending himself. He stand for the word. He stand up for Christ, okay? He stand up for the gospel. He stand up for the new covenant. He stand up for the Lord God. And it is amazingly that reading down the chapter 7, he brought three stories and the three uh, uh, um, examples from the Old Testament. He wanted to bring it in to make it clear to the people, um, you know, because they still want to believe in the law. Um, the first one is Abraham. Okay. Abraham, he wants to make it clear here that, uh, you know, we know the story of Abraham, you know, how he, you know, they, uh, uh, when God uh, 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 made a promise with him. Um, yeah, he wants to make it clear again here, you know, that uh, God appeared to Abraham and guided him and blessed him when there is no temple. Because the Jews, they were very big in keeping the temple as a holy, you know, holy place of God. But in here, Stephen wanted to make it clear, even Abraham time, um, and another one is Joseph. We know the story very well. Uh, he mentioned and he tells uh, the story about, uh, you know, he is someone who, who know the history, okay? Put it that way, Brother Stephen, eh? You know, he, he you know, he, he, maybe he's someone who, he, you know, the, the history of, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the nations, you know, started off from the, uh, uh, from, from Abraham, eh? Uh, and he mentioned um, a Joseph as well, okay? And with that, 
God was with him. Joseph did not need, he said, you know, he make it clear, Joseph did not need to go to the temple to be close to God. You know, it's amazing how Stephen want to bring this thing to make clear to people as, you know, we all do that. And, and, and all people said, you know, we all do that. We bring examples from the Bible. You know, we try to convince people the difference between that. We try to convince people that this is the way. Okay? This is the way and the only true way is the people is the man must be born again in water and in the Holy Spirit. Okay? And I guess we you know a uh, few of us here got children, you know. It is a it, you know it's a big challenge for them as well. I know they in school, you know, as what brother Stephen that he made he didn't even fear of the look of these people. He made the stand and said, Oi. This is the God. This is the way that the Lord wants us to, uh, you know, to do. Okay, this is the promise. This is the blessings, and this is the way that He made us. Then I guess for all of us, okay, for all of us, there's a great encouragement there. Um, yeah, we see, you know, He tried because of the rejection of the Jews when Stephen speak to them about the new covenant. You know, people rejected it. You know. And he said something, you know, with Joseph as well, is that, uh, you know, Joseph is like a picture of Jesus, okay, symbolizing. Uh, we know the son that was rejected, okay, but what happened later? He became, uh, he became the savior of them, okay? He just want to bring these thoughts for this, you know, to get into these people's thoughts, into people, these people's mind. And another one is Moses. And another one is Moses. Okay. Um, again, the way he explained this, you know, Moses is like another picture of Jesus there. He was rejected a few times by his own people, the nation of Israel, the one they were in Egypt. He rejected a few times. But God called him to be a, a ruler and a deliverance. And God as well appeared to Moses in the burning bush. Okay? He wanted to bring that as well, not in the temple. Okay? He just wanted to draw the picture here to, you know, to take away the thoughts of believing, you know, uh, uh, um, you know the, the believing that the only holy place is the temple, you know, with the Jews uh, uh, at this time. Um, yeah, and another thought in there is God's presence is not limited. That's what we believe. We can pray anywhere. We can pray whenever, wherever. We can speak whenever, wherever. Okay, the Lord is in us. Okay, praise the Lord that we can all say amen to that, that the Lord is within, within us. Um, we're just going to finish off. Um, chapter 7 I'm just going to read the verse uh, 55 it says uh, but he being full of the Holy Ghost uh, looked upon steadfastly into the heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus turning on the right hand of God what an amazing uh, 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 ending there okay <clears throat> What the Bible says, if we deny the Lord, he will deny us in front of the Father. But praise the Lord, it's a great picture there, that when he looked up, he steadfastly and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Okay? He promoted God, he talked about God, and what happened there? Jesus, yeah, he confessed, you know, uh, Jesus Christ to the people, but now, you know, the picture that we can, you know, the, the thoughts can be that the son confessing him to the father. Okay. Praise the Lord. The great, you know, the, the great ending there with the brother here. Uh, we saw that, you know, this is you know, the true assurance. The beauty of trusting in the Lord. 
the beauty of unmovable, the beauty of keeping the faith, the beauty of uh, uh, obedience to his word. It's kind of, you know, he's expecting those things will happen when he, you know, when he make the stand. And I guess we do have, you know, uh, 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 you know, sometimes we can be uh, shaking a little bit, you know. Uh, imagine he was there, the death is right there in front of him. Okay? But he is looking forward to it. He is looking forward to it. Okay. He denied himself. He denied himself. He promoting God. The trust that he have to make the stand. Death is not going to move my faith. Death is not going to move my trust in the Lord. Death, I'm not going to give up believing and trusting in my God. He's looking ahead. He's looking towards the life eternal. Praise the Lord that the Lord made it clear for us. We are not only looking at this time, you know, about living on this earth. We are looking ahead. Okay. The life that was promised by God, it is the everlasting life. Um, last, uh, the last verse it says, And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not his sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he felt asleep. It's kind of the same, uh, same speech Jesus uh, did on the cross. Okay? Praise the Lord. You know, the boldness, the strength that he had there. But praise the Lord that he fell asleep with the prayers of his persecutors. Okay? He fell asleep with the prayers for his persecutors you know, on his lips. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, it says that, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them that persecute you. Okay? That's how we deal with things. Okay? When the people is, go hard against the, the, the gospel, okay, we just do things in the lord's ways not our own ways okay the lord's ways and that's what our brother there uh, uh, did there but he prayed for the persecutors and we know that one of them is a later come to be a uh, one most uh, 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 um, people uh, a brother in the lord is paul okay um you know, it's a great testimony there as well for what he did there, Stephen. You know, who knows? Something that might be pricked Brother Paul's heart, the way Stephen, you know, say things there. Okay? Because he mentioned, you know, in a few chapters ahead, 22, he mentioned something about Stephen there. Okay? Because that's the testimony of the Lord that we had. You know, we do things in the Lord's ways, and the Lord will do bless us things for us okay but praise the lord the things you know the boldness of stephan there uh you know the boldness of uh he made the stand he never you know he never changed you know he didn't change his mind he didn't change the way he believed when death is right in front of him okay when death is right in front of him he still made the stand for it and all people said amen, amen. i'll leave it there i'll amen. pass it over now to uh pastor jim yeah Thank you all. So um, that's uh, that's great. Great thoughts. Um, oops. Yes, um, it's a great, great uh, encouragement. Wells, um, I think it's um, iron sharpening iron, aren't we? So um, 
I've been hearing about a lot of people in, in the time we're living, uh, they've been start talking about their pension in the world we're living now. And um, what often people does is they work hard in, a, you know, like in a week, they get their payment. Now, you don't get your full payment. Some of your pay payment goes to your pension. So you work 50 years or how long years ago you work for and you said, and a lot of people, their pension has been put there for a reason. 